Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Marketing Matters. I'm Sarah Touchstone, Landmark Titles Social Media Marketing Strategist and Educator. I get the pleasure of bringing you guys Marketing Matters live every single Wednesday. Yes, we bring a lot of great knowledge to our industry when it comes to how to market your real estate business. We bring a lot of great guests on here that give us updates on what's going on in the industry, how they are marketing their businesses and what is working for them. Everything we talk about here on Marketing Matters are real life marketing tools and techniques and strategies implemented by some of the top producers in our area and nationwide. So if you are struggling right now, it is a tough market. Make a commitment to be on Marketing Matters every Wednesday or go check out all of our recordings. We give you some great little tidbits that you can take and you can really expand on with the help of our business development managers and make your business boom. The one we're going to be talking about today is EDDMs or Every Door Direct Mail. So Marketing can be expensive, right? I know that everybody on here has a set aside marketing budget. However, when the market is tough and we're not bringing in as much, marketing often is one of the areas of our budget that we start cutting back on. However, if mail marketing has been a technique and a tactic for you, or you're looking to introduce mail marketing into your marketing techniques, Every door direct is a great option and it's going to save you money. So we're going to go over some of the particulars of every door direct mailing today. And then um, we'll wrap it up by telling you how you can actually save money on this. So starting out, guys, the biggest thing is a lot of people do not think that direct mail is worth their time. But honestly, it is still one of the best ways to reach your audience, grab their attention, and connect with people on a very personal way. There is a plethora of different kinds of direct mail you can do as well. And we're going to cover all of that today. Of course, if you guys have any questions, utilize the chat or the question and answer window. So for years, direct mail has really been put on the back burner. Uh, before the pandemic, we saw a lot of mail in our mailboxes, right? From uh, realtors. This is not new. This is not a new technique, y'all. This is a tried and true marketing technique. But when we got so busy over the pandemic, it really kind of fizzled out. People stopped doing direct mail to the point where it's literally dead. Um, I would say I used to get, you know, five or six, uh, direct mail pieces at least once a month from realtors in my mailbox before the pandemic. And now I'm lucky if I get one piece a month. So it really is something that has completely died out. But let's talk about why it isn't dead. So direct mail has a high ROI. Direct mail has a medium ROI of 31%. That's really, really high. Um, so that's your return rate. Like that's 31% um, that you may get somebody getting back to you on it. It is third behind email and social media. So email and social media are still number one. They're number two. Um, they are still the best ways to connect, especially within your sphere. However, what are we always trying to do? We're trying to go outside of our sphere, right? So that's where direct mail can really come into play. Number two, it does work really well with a digital marketing strategy. So if you're combining direct mail with digital marketing, it really can increase your customer loyalty. So whether um, you're hosting an event or it's a holiday uh, thing coming up, you want to put you know something fun and interesting like a postcard with a $20 bill and a scannable code. Now you don't have to do this with money either. You can do this um, with different things that are going on. Use the QR code. Uh, ask your sphere to create a video, a social media post, 
helping, you know, someone during the holiday season, we've got our adopt a family program. There is still time to, you know, get involved with things like that. Um, canned food drives there. The list goes on and on and on, but send out direct mail, have QR codes and ask for engagement when it comes to your direct mail. So that's number two. Direct mail can also target your audience better than you think. Uh, with with social media, you know, your audience is what it is. Um, unless you're doing uh, ads, boosts, or reels, then your clientele is basically your followers, right? Unless somebody comes and they find you, that's about you know who you're marketing to. Uh, with direct mail, though, you can send the right message to target your ideal client. Now, I talk about our ideal client or reverse engineering your client a lot. Uh, and what it comes down to is in real estate, especially right now, everybody's like, I want to work with anyone, everyone. But really think about who it is that you want to work with. Odds are good that you might even be able to target them through mail. Like if you're wanting to work with families, growing families, then you're going to want to target neighborhoods that have access to uh, a variety of schools, amenities, that sort of thing. Uh, if you're wanting to work with retirees, um, then you're going to be, you know, direct mailing to those types of neighborhoods instead. So really think about your ideal client um, and then start looking into it. A great resource is just going to ups.com and go to their every door direct tool and you can look up some of the demographics. Yes, right on their website and figure out, like I said, which type of clients you really want to be marketing to, as opposed to on social media, you're just marketing to everyone. Now, before we go any further, I know this is exciting. I do encourage that if you start a direct mail campaign, you need to be committed. This is not an overnight success type of marketing, but I know that the people that are in the industry right now, these are the rock stars. These are the ones who are in it to win it. A lot of people have gotten out of the real estate industry this year. So pat yourself on the back if you are still one of the people that are in this industry and get ready, gear up, 12-month commitment when you're doing direct mail. It can be up to 18 months to see return on this. However, agents that do this and stay consistent, and I'm not talking about do this and do like two months, three months, four months, but 12 months and stay consistent, that's when you're going to get that 31% ROI. So let's talk a little bit now about the Everdoor direct mailing system. Because that's why you guys are all here today, right? So every door direct, once you go through this process, once you get things set up, it is smooth sailing from there. However, getting to the point where you can get it set up and you are smooth sailing is a little tricky. And that's why I'm so glad that you guys are on this webinar today. So you're going to go to edm.usps.com. And you're going to go ahead and get onto the USPS website specifically for EDDM. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to create a business account. So that's the first thing. You got to get in. You got to get set up. It's not just as simple as dropping off your mailers um, to the post office or putting stamps on. That's what we're trying to avoid, right? We're trying to avoid paying the postage for individual stamps. So get in there, create a, an account. Then you're going to start searching where you want to mail things to. Now, you're going to be able to dial this way in. So have an idea of what neighborhood you might want to be looking at. Now, there are tools right here on this website uh, to start you know, looking at demographics. Maybe you're not sure where your campaign is that you want to go to. It's also great to sit down with your business development manager and talk with them 
about creating a farm. Uh, we have access to a lot of information. So maybe you're wanting to farm neighborhoods with a certain amount of equity um, or a turnover rate. So those are a few things that they're not going to have on the Every Door Direct uh, USPS website. But sit down with your business development manager. We have the tools that can help you really dial that in. So back to the website, though. You're going to put in address, city, state, or zip code. Then you're going to hit enter. It's going to give you five zip codes near your location. You're going to go ahead. You're going to dial it down even further. So you can click on all of them. You can see what the map looks like. It's going to actually tell you how many homes and whatnot are in these zip codes. You're going to have to determine what is your budget actually like. Now, with Every Door Direct, you can skip commercial properties, but you can not skip residential properties. So you cannot pull out homes that have an equity that is lower than you know than you would want to market to. That's the one drawback. That's it. That's the one drawback of EDDMs is it goes to everybody in that area. So you can dial it down though into the um the different zip codes, the different routes. Um, there are different routes within zip codes too. So you don't necessarily need to uh, market to the entire zip code because here in Arizona, honestly, our zip codes are huge. They could include thousands and thousands of homes. What you're going to be looking at is the route. So that's where you can kind of dial it down a little bit more. Um, hover over the zip codes. You can, like you said, like I said here, you can see the different routes. Um, then you can actually get in there and dial down the demographics a little bit. So the different routes, they'll show you businesses, age range, average household size, and income. And then it's going to go ahead, based on the routes that you se selected, it's going to show you a summary of costs. So that's the really cool thing, too, is that you take care of all of this online before you even... Uh, get to the post office so you know exactly how to budget for your spending. Okay, so you select your routes. Um, the example here has three different routes se selected. Um, it's going to have two different post offices that you have to drop off to. You have to drop off to the post office that is within the route. Now, right here on the U.S. Postal Service website, it's going to tell you um, which ones that uh, that you have to go to. But you can't just deliver your um, your EDDM mailers to any post office. That's not how this one works. So like I said, you have to actually specifically drop off to the post office that delivers to that route. You can pay online. It'll give you um, a QR code or a barcode to just take into the post office. And all you have to do is drop off your mailers. They scan it, boom, it goes out to your audience. So knowing is half the battle, right? Get on the website, play around with it, figure it out. Um, and that's the first step. So with your account, you can also track your mail. Uh, so you may want to, like I said, you may want to get really specific and just choose like a phone number that is unique for this campaign. Um, you can also create a landing page to track your results. Don't just mail and forget either. You really want to get back in here and you want to track, uh, how your mail is doing. A couple of places around the state, EDDM is done a little differently, um, like up in the Prescott area. And every once in a while, there's an issue with their EDDMs. So always be proactive, always get back into your system and track. Uh, it is becoming less common. Like I told you all, before the pandemic, got a lot of um, mail from realtors. Now there's just not a lot out there. So if this is something that you implement as a tactic, this can be really good because you are going to stand out if you're putting, uh, you know, 
mailers out there that are of value to the people that you are mailing them to, it's going to really be looked at. Uh, so I've been saying this now for a couple of years, like get on it before everybody gets back. People still are really not utilizing direct mail. So the fact that it's less common really means that yours can stand out and be extremely effective. Uh, mail's, mail is fun, right? We don't get a lot of mail anymore. I know that when I, I probably only, I mean, I'll admit it, I probably only check my actual mail maybe about once a week. But when I do, I comb through it. I'm looking for anything that might be personal, that might not just be bills or that, you know, it's just ads. Um, so it really kind of does emote a special feeling when you get something that's not just junk mail, right? We There's a reason we have a term called junk mail, um, because that is not fun. But everything else that you get in your mailbox really is, uh, emotes wonderful feelings. And then it's tangible. So you can use it to leverage open houses, um, just listed events in your neighborhood, um, working with buyers, working with sellers, uh, working with renters. There is a lot that you can integrate within a direct mail campaign. Um, people want to know how much their homes are, are worth right now. Uh, evictions are up. Foreclosures are going to go up. Direct mail is a great way to get in front of people before there is um, an emergency. Uh, if somebody's gone into foreclosure already, then it's a lot harder to help them. However, if you are getting in front of them, if you're saying call to find out how much your home is worth, you know, stuck in a rut, I can help you. Did your home take a shift on you? I can help. Uh, you are a lot more likely to be able to help these people before it is too late. And then it also gets undivided attention. Uh, we get so many emails and there's so much on social media. We've really developed a filter for only seeing what we want to see. However, when we have a piece of mail in our hands, we stop, we look through it, we actually will read it. 80% of direct mail recipients scan or read each piece before throwing it away. If you are offering something of value, um, sports schedules, that sort of thing, these things are going to be kept as well. But the fact that 80% of them are at least reading it before they are throwing it away is tremendous. I guarantee that 80% of the people that you send an email to are not opening it and reading it. 80% of the people on your social media account are not looking at your posts, but 80% of people are reading your direct mail that you send. That's big. And then it also increases your brand awareness. So people will typically, we, we are bombarded with realtors. Everybody knows a realtor. If you have no friends, if you don't know a realtor. So, People are bombarded um, with the housing market, with housing market professionals day in and day out. However, people will typically use the last realtor that they spoke to, that they saw, that they have their contact information. With people, it's really time sensitive, right? When they, they can have your contact information, you can talk to them, you can take them out for lunch, coffee. You can go by their house. You can door knock and they can say, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And the one second that they are ready, whichever realtor number they have on hand is the one that they're going to call. So increasing your brand awareness, staying top of mind with people is a great benefit to direct mail. So if they have your, your number and they are ready to go, uh, you have a higher likelihood of actually being called. And then it's great for all age groups. So I did say, you know, make sure that you are reverse engineering your client with who you want. But the reality is that no matter what your clientele is, odds are good that they have a house and they get mailed, right? Uh, 
So picking out whichever age group and sending it out to them, it's great for everyone. And then you can also be incredibly creative, right? So you can send out um, sports schedules. Uh, I know a realtor that does the high school sports schedules. You know, what a great way to be involved in the community. You can do in the spring, you can do um, hikes within that, you know, wherever your farm is, hikes for wildflowers. Um, you can do, you know, scenic drives. Um, you can do things that, you know, involve their pets. Uh, things that are happening in the local area. If you've got an event coming up, it really just, the ideas go on and on and on and on. So you really can get creative with it. Um, number 12, all right. This is why you guys are all on today, right? Direct mail is affordable. So as prices continue to increase, with the U.S. Postal Service on their stamps, guess what has remained fairly the same throughout the years? Every door direct mail. It averages about 19 cents each. Now, it does vary a little bit depending on the neighborhood. Um, I usually don't even say how much it costs in the presentation because I'm just fearing that it's going to change any second as soon as it comes out of my mouth. I'm like, oh, it's going to be, you know, 25 cents, you know, the next time anybody goes to do this. But I've been tracking this for years and it is still about average 19 cents per piece. Um, so it really is. I mean, I'm not even sure what um, stamps are right now, but they are getting expensive and they increase all the time. And that, my friends, is why you guys are on, because this is one of the most affordable uh, ways that you can market. And then it's memorable. Um, so doing things, like I said, like the top 10 hiking trails um, during, you know, events for the holidays. Um, these are things that you really can implement, things that people are going to want to put on their fridge. Uh, that they're going, you know, we we have uh, at Landmark Trail, we have a list of top 10 pumpkin patches, places to go see lights, places to go see fireworks. Have, you know, work with your business development manager on um, some of these different ideas. They are experts when it comes to doing direct mail. So pull on them for information. They really are a wealth of knowledge. Um, have a fun, save money, make something memorable. So here's just a quick example. You can do, you know, obviously uh, you can do schedules, events, but you can do coming soon. You can do open houses. You can do just listings. We have a full design team available to help you out with these things as well. If you want to start out too, you can hit it really hard in the very beginning and do uh, mailers each week. So this is a tactic that usually you do every door direct once a month, but if you are just getting started, you might want to saturate by doing a massive mailer uh, each week for that first month. So some examples are thinking about selling, recent homes sold in the area, people love that, local events, and uh, rent versus buy. So if you need any other ideas, of course, reach out. We have a plethora. We have a ton of examples here at Landmark Title to help you out with getting started. So despite the belief that direct mail is dead, honestly, y'all, it couldn't be more alive. So pair up with your partners. We do printouts for a very, very low cost um, at Landmark Title. So you can get with your business development manager. We, our design team will meet the specifications. So I really encourage y'all to not just order these, print them out and show up uh, at the post office and be like, here we go. You know, here's my, here's my EDDMs. Work with um, professionals that are going to get you the right size, the right layout. Um, there is a particular layout that you need for EDDMs. So working with our design team really is 
an amazing way to get this project done and correct and out. Um, we do have, like I said, a plethora of examples. We can come up with, you know, whatever your mind can imagine, our design department really can do it. So then you'll pick them up, you'll drop them off at the post office and boom, it will be super easy for you to go ahead and do. Another one of our partners is Prime Source. So Prime Source can do a great job of getting your EDDMs ready. Um, they can also ship directly for you. So with ours, you do need to pick up your actual postcards with um, Prime Source. They'll actually do it all for you. Now we can also design uh, your postcards with our design department and send them over to Prime Source, and then they can print and they can mail them out for you. So a lot of really great options. I hope you guys enjoyed that presentation today. I like covering um, EDDMs at least once a year. I think it's a really important thing to keep back in the OS cover because it is a little confusing at the very beginning to get started. But once you're started, guys, that ball is rolling. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna wrap up today with a couple of other things that we have going on. Of course, it is the holidays. And this is a wonderful time to give back to your community. So if you would like to join us here at Landmark Title, this will be our fourth year with partnering with the Homeless Engagement Lift Partnership or HELP and their Adopt-A-Family program. Each of our offices adopts a family and together with our business development managers, our escrow officers, and our staff, we provide all the gifts for that family for the holiday season. So if you'd like to join us and just, you know, donate a little bit of money or find out what um, gift you can buy for that family, we would love to have your participation. Um, and of course, if you would like to adopt your own family, that would mean the world to us as well. So if you would like more information, scan that QR code, um, get signed up and reach out to your business development manager. They can help get you signed up for that. And then we've got coming up um, on to today. Yeah, I'm like the 18th, right? Yeah, it's the 18th. At one o'clock today on Zoom, we've got Patrick McQueen talking about new build issues. There's a lot of them right now, guys. You think when you get a new build that everything's gonna be perfect. Well, it's not. It's not always perfect. So when you're working with your clients, it's really important to know what issues you need to look for and be an advocate for them. So grab that URL link. That's today, 1 to 2 p.m. on Zoom. Sounds like a good one. And then tomorrow, we've got the Moon Valley Home Tours. This kicks off at 8.30 in the morning. If you've got a, a home in Moon Valley that you'd like to get on the tour, reach out. We can get that scheduled, or if you would like to attend the tour, uh, see what's available out there, get content for your social media, um, show people that you are out and working. Home tours are a great way to stay busy in this market. So that's tomorrow at 8.30. And then on October 25th, there is a three-hour CE on legal issues uh, specifically about veterans um, and working with veterans. This is going to be in person at the atrium at Arrowhead from nine until noon. Um, you do need to pay $10 for this class. You do need to register in advance. So either grab that uh, URL or the QR code and get registered. This is one is hosted by Renee. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Or if you want to get registered through her, you can reach out as well. And then the following week, we've got the Billmore Luxury Tour. This is the fourth Wednesday. So this will be next week. Start time is at 9 a.m. Once again, you can scan that QR code and attend. If you've got a Billmore house that you want to get on, um, reach out to them. Or if you just would like to attend, it is free to anyone. And then 
the following day, that Thursday, October 26th, we've got an agent's guide to government loans. This is also going to give you three hours of legal issues. This is in Glendale at the Holiday Inn Conference Room. This one is an afternoon CE class. So take note of that from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, once again, reach out to Patty, get registered for that. This one is also a $10 pay. And then also on that same day, We've got the last in our series of Here Comes the Judge with Faye Humphreys, 1 to 2 p.m. up in the Prescott area. If you'd like to attend that, reach out to Michelle and let her know. Moving ahead, guys. Moving ahead to November. Yes, it will be here before we know it. November 1st, we're going to have a little chat with uh, Mike Roosevelt from 1AZ Credit Union about the different ways that you can partner with a local credit union um, to help your clients with loans and whatnot. There's going to be a breakfast. There's going to be mimosas on November 1st from 9 a.m. to 1030. And this one is going to be um, at the atrium at Arrowhead as well in uh and right next to our landmark title office. Uh, Patty's hosting this. So if you'd like to attend, reach out, let her know. And then we've got one more, November 2nd. So just in case you are needing that little extra break through the holidays, come on out. We've got a happy hour on November 2nd from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Crooked Pint Ale House. This is in Glendale. Um, it's free. We're going to, you know, get y'all together to conspire, to mingle, um, and just kind of let our hair down for a couple hours. Patty's hosting this one as well. So if you'd like to attend, reach out, let her know. That's it for us today, guys. Of course, thank you to our business development management team. If you see anything that you want to implement in your business on Marketing Matters, I highly recommend reaching out to our business development management team. They are the ones that really can be your partner and your advocate during these unsure times in our industry. So reach out to Beth, Keith, Mary, Melinda, Michael, Michelle, and Prescott, Patty, and Renee. They are here to help you guys. And of course, thank you to Landmark Title for allowing us to bring you Marketing Matters every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. Check out our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more Marketing Matters. And of course, please think of us on your next contract. Uh, that's what we're really here for. We love helping you with the marketing, but we really, really love uh, getting your deals closed and being your advocate the entire way through the closing process. We have seven offices here in the Valley, one in Prescott and two up in Nevada to service all of your title and escrow needs. So please think of us and we'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day.